Ivor, good to see you. I am, uh, uh, Did you want something, or...? I was wondering... What's wrong? Bridget and I were thinking, with everything calming down the way it has, maybe you could find a spare moment, then. You want to be married? Yes, uh, to each other. Yes, I imagined. Gunnar, to see you so happy has been a pleasure. And to marry you would be an honor. Shall I put out a call to any friends abroad? I'll be honest, Eivor. I came here with a lot of you, because nothing and no one kept me back there. The Raven Clan is all the family I need. And Bridget too. From all she said, she's better off here than with those she calls kin. Just a couple of foundlings we are. Then let's not bother with tradition. If you have your bride and your blade, we will see you wed. As Jarl, I do it gladly. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy of future and heen, at the sword tawaloch and hope, a premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, para toivi a sweeping adventure and meeting tea. Tiur enoid val de marash, a dean as strong a buratiki, a gval as he fears, but kalon and head van dirati. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my love. Let us head van evan gilith, trabowid and beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration of Fee than Bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Randvi. <laughs> So you're looking a little lonely. 
Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. And V, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that? I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Gunner, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Bridget, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunner's life and to ours. I couldn't be more happy to be Hope you what you wish and it keeps me sure that yours. Yes, of course. I, uh... As I say, it is wonderful to have you. You have been among us for quite some time, Redder. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer. Always searching, never finding. Maybe one day. How are the marriage customs in your country, Hytham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. <laughs> Alvis! I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. 
Another time, I think. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Valka the Seer can use this. I should get this to the seer.
plan. A plan for Volka.
serve some purpose. I have the plant you asked for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Aver. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angreboda. She knows all that happens here. Angreboda's home was right here when I last visited. It may still be. Any obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way. The witch's house. There you are. Thank you. 
You always did. When the end comes, they will outlive us. They are mindless ravagers who will destroy us and inherit the Nine Realms. I cannot allow that. They are capable of more than you know, and I will not help you bring about the ruin. Then you are a fool. Please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angrebola, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I have come to understand Jotnar magic. Your method for moving Huga from one body to another. The Mead. You seek the Mead. Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. Who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel, and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. The waterfall should be nearby, but I see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen. This land hides its secrets well, but no secret is safe from me.
smells strange down here. This route turns my stomach. I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There, an elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I, I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. Now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye.
I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No! No! Wait! 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 No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutunger and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgarder. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgarder. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrimmer's house by the lake near Utgarther. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now, or head for Thrimmer's hall? Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Mm. I feel great. Soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. <laughs> they will attack on sight here.
such cheerless squalor. It seems his sons have been hiding here, awaiting their chance to take it back. There must be a way to reach it. are not always as they seem in Jotunheimer. Utgarten now, but a gift for Kulana would improve my chances at getting the meat. 